Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So today we're going to be talking about this Leyland tractor. So guys, real quick before we start talking about this fine blue machine behind me here, I just want to say real quick, uh, next week, the 14th, uh, through through that entire week, there's not going to be a Crazy D equipment video. Me and Angie are going to be gone to Santa Fe. Uh, we got tickets to Antique Roadshow and me and her are going, and I'm giving Doc a week off just to just to have a week off he deserves it so just want to let you know that but anyways so guys the while the other day here i picked up this uh uh leyland 385 uh it's about a 64 horsepower tractor it, it will run but it has to be pull started doc's gonna have to take a look at the starter it's either the starter's bad or there's wiring that's bad but when you you try to jump it and you try to get battery power to the starter it just clicks um leyland tractors i i try to do some research try to find out how long they were sold in the united states i couldn't really find anything uh i do know that leyland tractors were built to 1984 uh this this one model this one here was built from 1960 to 1974 and this is at, or uh, yeah i believe 74 and this one here is towards the end it's like a 73 374 model um, a lot of these came four-wheel drive or front-wheel assist this one did not uh, this was tractor has been used as a belling tractor for its entire life uh, at least the entire entire time that the gentleman that I required it from has has had it it has always been a belling tractor um, it, it you know, I I really like to know more. So if you guys know anything else about Leyland's, uh, is it the same as the car company? That would be something that uh, I'm inter interested in. Um, uh, anything else, guys? If you guys want to th throw down in the comments, I would be more than glad to uh, to read them and figure out what what what's going on with them but i like to give this tractor a pull start i'll bring the forklift around we'll get it pull started let you guys hear it run uh doc will do a little driving of it and we'll talk a little more about the tractor and what's going to happen with it Well guys, we tried to pull start it, but as you can see, it's way too muddy for that. So that is not going to happen. Okay guys, so this tractor, you know, it does have three point, I'm missing the three point arm. This one's locked up, but you can tell this tractor, I, I don't think he's used three point on this tractor ever because uh, like I said, it was hooked. It was hooked to a John Deere round baler and I don't think he ever unhooked it. Um, there's a lot of stuff the dock's going to have to do. Um, this block needs to be refastened uh, into the correct spot. Uh, we are going to have to get the three-point set up, put back on this thing. Um, if you come around over here, you, we're missing some side. I think there should be some side plates here for sure that are gone. But the wiring in the tractor is absolutely... I don't even know the word I'm looking for. Farmer rigged, worse. I say atrocious. Daniel's doc says atrocious. So doc's gonna have to rewire it, and get all this figured out. Um, I think some of this stuff left on here is left over from the bell monitor. Um, I want to get the steering wheel changed out. I don't think that this metal 
homemade steering wheel is original probably leave these on here but yeah, it's going to take a lot of TLC to get this to the lot and I don't know what it's going to bring on the lot I'm figuring this tractor is probably thirty five hundred four thousand dollar tractor um, I'm not going to put rubber on it. I'm not going to change any of that stuff on it. So, I mean, we're just going to have to kind of find where where we need to be on this one and just kind of go from there. Um, I need to do a little more research on the market. Uh, I mean, if you're interested in the tractor and you want to take it as it is, I think 2800 bucks will buy it from you just like it is now. You worry about finding a starter or whatever the wiring problem is. But uh, anyways, guys, I, I think that's kind of it. You know, not a real long one, uh, but, uh, you know, thanks for coming in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you later on.